G'day guys, welcome back. I'm playing with some milk paint today. Going to do a cloud pour. Uh, normally I use the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white when I do this, but you know, certain people can't get the Artist Flow, uh, or Artist Loft I should say, so I'm gonna try and see how it goes without the Artist Loft white and we'll do the white with the Liquitex Basics instead. So I've mixed up my paints pretty much all the same. Uh, two parts of Floetrol to one part Liquitex Basics and a splash of water. So the blue here is Thalo Blue, two parts Floetrol, one part paint and some water. The darker blue, I've used the same blue and I've just added a little bit of black it's almost finished that one uh, the pinky one here is magenta and then this here is turquoise turquoise blue it's called uh, and then the white I have mixed two parts Floetrol to one part white to half a part of the milk paint so two parts that one part that so that was 40 uh, 20 grams of paint 10 grams of milk paint so that's 30 so I've done 60 grams of flow troll and a splash of water does that make sense to everybody hope so so just a bit easier I think if people want to try this uh, cloud pour but they haven't got the artist loft. Now the other thing I need to tell you about, uh, folk art have stopped making this milk paint. Oh, I know. So if you can still get some in the white, grab it while you can. They won't be producing anymore. When it's gone, it's gone. If you can't get this, you can use the Deco Art Satin Enamel and just mix it up the same way. So just instead of that, use that. So it'll still work. All right, oh, let's see. Well, see if it will work with the white. That's not the artist buff. It should. Now, my paints still leave a little tiny mound. I'll show you. You guys like to see the mound, don't you? I still leave a little mound. There we go. Now, the bottom of that stir sticks about the top of the rim of the cup so I'm not holding it up real high there you go all right so that's how I have mine if it's too thin the cloud will just take over and if it's too thick you don't get a cloud now I'm going to put some navy blue in the bottom first Might need a little bit more water on that one. Some of the colours tend to be a little bit thicker than the others. Like with the magenta, that's always thick. So I've added less paint to that one because I know that the magenta is always thick. So added a little bit of paint, a little less paint. So I'm going to put some blue in the bottom first because I don't like the big white centre. Now I'm not going to use all this white paint. I'm going to use... I only want to do two layers of white in the cup and the rest of it's going to go around the outside. A little bit of white. And then I'm going to put some of this. So I'm using half of what's there, so for two layers. And then a little bit of pink, half of my pink. And I'm going to go with the... Uh, uh, no, I better go with the blue. Let's go with the blue. Half the blue. And then a little bit more white. And that'll be it for the white. Two layers of white. So put that aside. I hope my cup's big enough to manage this paint. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre card. It's my thick card that I use. I've got links to where to buy it on my Australian acrylic pouring group. People are still asking where I get it from. Um, I don't think I want to use any more of that. Oh no, I'd better. I'd better. 
Let's do some of the dark blue next. Because I want to have navy on the outside. I just think the navy running over the edges and hopefully the white will pop through on the edges as well. A little bit of pink. And, oh, look at that. Just made it. Only just. I should have used a bigger cup. I'll know that for next time. I was debating whether to use my next size up cup. And I thought this one would be fine, but I think the bigger one would have been better because it's just a bit too full. It makes it difficult to pour when your cup's too full. Okay, so the white, I'm just going to sort of pour it around like that. Get it all out. Okay. I don't even think I'm going to spread it. I'll, I'll see. I'll see how I feel after I've done the ring pour. No, it's going to be very tricky to try and do this. I'll, I'll do my best. Shouldn't have made it such a small cup. Okay, here we go. So basically I only want the two layers of the white, as I said, and I don't want white on the, the outside rings. I don't mind it being on the outside, but I didn't want it on the outside rings. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, that navy looks very dark, it looks almost black. Okay, you can see some cloudy effects happening already. Maybe I should have spread that white out a bit. Oh, too late now. See what happens. So we go around in a big circle. So the blue's obviously going over the top of the white. So hopefully um, we'll get some little white clouds on the outside. Go over this corner back to the middle. I was hoping to have navy on the edges, but it looks as if all my navy's going, 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 gone. Back to the middle. Off to that last corner. There we go. All right. Just clean under the edges there. So we can see where the card ends and the wire rack begins. That's my cloth. Righto, where's my torch? Over here. Let's give it a bit of a torch, see what happens. Oops, got a bit close. a little bit speckledy. Don't know, maybe that's because I've used the Liquitex Basics in with the milk paint. I've never done that before. Got a few little white cells happening on the edges here. Uh, yes, I tipped off. <laughs> I tipped off all my white. I probably should have leveled it out that ring of white that i put down i probably should have spread it out a little bit maybe hmm okay so it's not quite as 
puffy, cloudy as I was expecting. You can still see the rings. And a lot of people like that. They don't want, you know, too much puffiness because then you, you do lose your rings. Um, but if you don't want to see the rings as much, you need to have a thinner mix. So I may try that. I think the amount of paint was good. I'll let it sit for a little while and see if anything else wants to, to pop up. 